Hey, welcome folks. This is Dan Powers with Champion Solutions Groups, and today we're going to talk about Big Fix and a real quick, easy video about the MSI installer and leveraging custom properties like you would with a client setting CFG file. So what am I talking here? And for those Big Fix enthusiasts out there, you know you have your Big Fix server, you might have your endpoints, you have a remote office. Um, and again, we can have multiple remote offices here. We can have clients that are over VPN in, and they might hit the top level relays. And of course, you even have those off devices, especially in this modern desktop client. And their only way to get into your environment is actually to go through the DMZ relay. Now, during the initial install, the big fix masthead, that action site file, has the fully qualified name of your big fix server. There's all sorts of tricks we can do for fake root servers and all that stuff. But inevitably, you sometimes might need to install a client and specifically point him at a relay in a remote office, at a top level relay, or for those devices that are truly off the network, not VPN in, through your DMZ relay. And the system has to know how to reach that so it can connect to your big fix environment. Now we all know we can do this normally with the client setting CFG file during the installation process, but only if we use the EXE, the big fix client executable, it does not work with the MSI. And we can't do things like setting up your command polling, setting up this particular relay server like the DMZ relay, maybe setting company and some other custom properties in your big fix uh, installation. However, we can now do the same thing um, with the MSI installation. And we're going to show you how to do that real quickly. And we're going to use the Orca package editing tool uh, that you can download from Microsoft. Let's load this up here. What you notice, I have installed the Orca tool, which is right here, the Orca uh, executable I downloaded from the Microsoft uh, site. And here, what I did is I copied the client MSI from my big fix server just so I could get to the MSI here. So now what we can do, once we install this with Orca, we can go right down to edit with Orca. And now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make this bigger since we really don't need that folder sitting there anymore. Uh, but if you notice, the whole MSI is opened up inside of the Orca tool. And first thing we're going to do is go down to here, we see property. So we're going to go down to property and it's going to list all the properties of here. And I can scroll down at this point. And what I'm going to look for here is relay one. So notice relay one has a value of zero. We'll click inside of here and we can start editing this and what I'm going to do is actually take the exact setting from my client setting CFG and I am just simply oops can't do that and I am going to paste it in here Boop. and notice I got my DMZ relay at championsg.com 52311 forward slash BF mirror forward slash downloads that's step one in this process that will now create if I save it right now I now have an MSI that will actually try to contact the relay server my DMZ relay server first the next thing we can do if we want to set some custom settings we can move over here down to the registry and notice we have registry entries one through five already what we can do here is we can add a row to our registry settings so again the top registry since we already have one through five registry this will be six in this case uh, the root shall always be two in the case of the key this is going to be the key of a uh, registry setting we want to edit so in this case I have it copied off to the side so I'm going to paste this in here but if we notice this is exactly where the key would exist inside the registry on Windows so software big fix enterprise client settings and client and of course our underscore best client underscore relay underscore failover list is what we're going to see in the key there uh, for the name this is always going to be value that's just simply how the registry works um, for the name or the value itself in this case could be my dmz relay.csg.com and of course since this is the list i can do the semicolon and actually give it the ip address as well uh, this would just be my semicolon list that big fix client for failover relay list will accept um, in this case and for the component for anything that you're going to set here in orca for the big fix client is actually going to then be of course bez client.exe so if i save this it should look very similar to the other registry properties that are already in here 
uh, the readers to. This is going to the software key. Uh, the name of this is, of course, value. Here's my answer. And of course, this is going to the best client. So if I want to keep adding something else, for an example, if I did something else like add a new row, of course, this would be now registry seven. Make sure we spell these things correctly. Uh, as we mentioned, the root is always going to be two. Uh, the key is then coming back to, well, what exactly are we trying to deal with here? What settings are we putting in? And in this case, I've copied this off as well. If I'm setting a DMZ relay, and it's a secure registration in this sense, this is the registry setting key that I would have to add here. Uh, again, the name is value. And what I'm doing here is since my DMZ relay is probably going to be authenticating, and then I would have to put in the password for the relay to actually work. And as we had mentioned before, every time you get down to this part here, this is going to be for the bezclient.exe. Now I can, if you notice, I have registry seven. This is providing the password, which again, this will be all embedded in the MSI file, um, so that during the installation process, if your DMZ relays are secure relays, the server or the client installation will be able to authenticate with that relay. Now I'm gonna add one more here just for the sake of it, uh, because I like doing this and you may need to do this sometimes yourself for various reasons, but I'm now gonna add a custom, oops, custom property. So we do that first, then we hit root, which as we said is two. Now we're gonna hit the key here. And in this case, uh, we're gonna pick out a custom property. Now my custom property in this example is again under the big fix enterprise client settings and it's just company it's all i'm really setting here uh, is the key itself the name of course is the value uh, it's just how the registry works and in this case i am now going to put champion in here so when this endpoint registers it'll have a custom property called champion already set you could do this for an example i've done it quite a few times in multi-vendor or multiple um, environments where they had a lot of different departments where we might have added a custom setting called department for an example in this case I just did that one example here so again I've added at this point three different registry custom value keys uh, you can see how easy this is to do and then from here I can just simply hit save I save that MSI and at this point we can go test it and any machine I install with this MSI should actually be able to hit my DMZ relay, authenticate, put those custom client settings into place and actually work perfectly. Now we have the BF install and the new client MS install package that I've done. So I'm going to right click and actually do an install and this should just do the normal install to this machine. And we're going to test it once the install goes through. This machine, by the way, is in my lab. Uh, the big fix server is actually out in the Azure cloud. So, of course, I'm going to have to be able to hit that DMZ for this to work. So hopefully this will show up and we're going to figure out if it does right after this thing finishes. So I'll pause it here um, and we'll check it in a moment. As we can see, our host name is TrendDS. We can also just go to the directory for Bez Data. We can see the custom sites here. So I know it's actually working at this point, but let's go check it anyway. So we bring up the big fix console, and there's our TrendDS machine. Obviously made it through. Company name is Champion. And if we right click on it, look at our computer seconds, we can see <clears throat> that it actually did adhere to the settings that we had created. So. So you can see that's a simple way of editing the MSI. Now you can put this in a group policy and you could use this MSI to do installations with custom properties. The most important ones is pointing it to an initial relay, just like you would use your client setting CFG. Thank you for watching folks.